Hey, what's going on people? I hope you guys are doing good. Today, we're talking about this. This is the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. I partnered with Best Buy to showcase some of my favorite features that you should try as soon as you get your brand new tablet. And let me tell you right now, this thing is definitely ultra. Let's kick it off with a few accessories I highly recommend that you pick up as soon as you get your brand new tablet. When it comes to the Tab S8 Ultra, you can pick it up in different storage configurations from 128 up to 512 gigabytes but the 512 gigabyte model does cost a good bit of money. So if you wanna save some money, you can, and then just pick yourself up a really fast micro SD card like this, since the Tab S8 Ultra does support micro SD card expansion. And this is a V90 card. You can get like a one terabyte micro SD card, which is cheaper than paying the extra premium price for a 512 gigabyte model. And you can easily launch apps off of a micro SD card. One of the best accessories that you can get for the Tab S8 Ultra is this case from Samsung. So the back part is just a magnetic snap on the back style cover. And then there's like a little slot for your S Pen. So it just snaps right on the back magnetically like so. And then to get to the S Pen, you just flip up this little flap right here and then that protects the S Pen. And what's great about this back cover is it also has a built-in kickstand. So now you can prop up the tablet, just like that. And of course the keyboard just snaps onto the bottom magnetically so you can detach it when you don't need the keyboard and you can use it like that. And then when you, when you wanna use the keyboard, it just snaps right on just like so. And the keyboard itself is really nice has a built-in trackpad that works pretty good. You also have a row of function keys up here at the top that also act as system keys that you can set up, such as custom launches. So F1, F2, and F3 can uh, be customized to launch your favorite apps. So F1, I have set up to launch Outlook. And if I want to set up App2 for Chrome, I can just pull up Chrome, hold down the function button, and then hold down F2 for three seconds. So once it's set up, it will say Chrome has been assigned. Now, if I go back to my homepage, hold down function and then hit up two, you can see it quickly launches Chrome. And this keyboard is also backlit and you have three stages of backlighting. You also have shortcut keys for your brightness so you can dim the screen or you can increase the screen. And of course you have a quick launch button for DeX. So if I hold the function key and then hit the DeX key right here, it quickly launches me into DeX, which is really nice. One thing I recommend doing when it comes to the trackpad and the keyboard is going into your settings and then scroll down until you get to general management and then tap on mouse pad and or mouse and trackpad. And then from here, you can customize like the pointer speed. You can enable or disable the enhanced pointer precision. You can change your pointer size and color. If you have a mouse, you can customize the buttons on the mouse, but most importantly, you can customize the touchpad scrolling direction. I like whenever I scroll up that the screen scrolls up. I don't like the reverse that's, uh, that's set up by default. So I'm gonna go ahead and do down gestures, scroll down. So now when I scroll down on the mouse pad, it scrolls down on the screen. And you can also customize the trackpad gestures. So you can customize the tap with three fingers. By default, it's set to back, but you can also change it to show the app screen, view notifications, or open quick settings. Another thing that I recommend doing inside of general management is tapping on where it says physical keyboard. And inside of here, you can customize a few things like the keyboard shortcuts, or you can view them. So this is just taking a look at everything that you can do with the keyboard, including like launching music, maps, messages, calendar, browser, so on and so forth. So if you forget what some of the uh, keyboard shortcuts or the quick launch keys do, you can go in and check them out. Unfortunately, the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra doesn't include a charging brick in the box. So my next accessory recommendation is a charging brick. And since the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra does support 45 watt fast charging, I recommend this one from Samsung. It's the Trio charger. It has a 65 watt port at the top, a 25 watt port in the middle, and then a 15 watt type A port on the bottom. So if you own multiple Galaxy devices like a tablet and then say maybe an S22 Ultra and then a Galaxy Watch 4, you could charge all three devices from one brick. The problem is I can't find this in stock anywhere. So a good recommendation is this charging brick from Whitestone Dome. It's almost half the price. It's a 65 watt charger. It's a GAN charger. And once again, it includes a USB-C at the top, USB-C in the middle, and then a type A port so you can still charge three devices from one brick. 
And I'll link both of these in the description so you can choose the one that you want. The Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra has a really good in-display fingerprint scanner, but it's a large tablet and it can be a little awkward to use. So face unlock makes a little bit more sense and luckily you can set that up and it's more secure than previous models. Let me show you how to set it up. Like I said, the fingerprint scanner on the Tab S8 works really good, but if you wanna set up face unlock, which I think is a little bit more convenient, you're gonna go into your settings, then go under biometrics and security, tap on face recognition into your pin, and then it's gonna have you set up your face. And you can see that it uses Knox in order to secure your data. So it's really cool. We're gonna tap continue. I'm going to lean in, let it get my face. All right, that's scanned. Now at the top, it says stay on lock screen until swipe. I'm going to toggle that off just so I can show you how fast this works. Tap done. And you have a bunch of other settings here. So you have face unlock completely so you can toggle it on or off. You have faster recognition. For a more secure form of recognition, I would toggle that off. If you're not worried about it and you just want speed, keep it on. So I'm gonna to toggle it off. And then require open eyes, definitely keep that on. And then if you're in a darker environment, you can brighten the screen so that way it can use the brightness or the, uh, the, the light from your display in order to cast on your face to recognize your face. Let's go ahead and test this out. Go to the lock screen, turn it on, and boom, recognize me. Turn it off, back on, recognize me. One thing I wanna add is even though the Tab S8 Ultra isn't using a dedicated facial scanner and just a front-facing camera, it's still really, really secure. So I have a picture of myself right here on my S22 Ultra. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can unlock the Tab S8 with this photo. It says face doesn't match. Back it out, move it in a little bit. Still face doesn't match. Okay, let's take this one step further. I have a video of me going into the front facing camera, kind of like simulating face unlock and trying to get it to work. So let's go ahead and rewind this and we will play it and see if we can get it to unlock with the video. Still says face doesn't match and face doesn't match. Now I'll bring in my actual face and boom, log me in instantly. Do it one more time, boom. The Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra comes in three different configurations when it comes to RAM. You have the eight gigabyte model, the 12 gig, and then the 16 gigabyte model. You could also configure virtual RAM inside of the settings to allow even more RAM all the way up to eight gigabytes, which is insane. Let me show you how to do it. If you want to expand your RAM using virtual RAM, you're gonna go into your settings, scroll down until you get to battery and device care, and then tap on memory. And then from here, you can tap on RAM plus, and then you can select all the way up to eight gigabytes of virtual RAM. So if I select eight gigabytes and then restart the tablet, now, technically speaking, because I have the 16 gigabyte RAM model, I will have 24 gigabytes of available RAM. That's crazy. One of the standout features when it comes to this tablet is its enormous 14.6 inch Super AMOLED display. And it's beautiful to look at. And it has a resolution of around 3K, but you can get a little bit more out of this display by configuring your refresh rate, which goes all the way up to 120 Hertz, as well as your color profile. If you wanna adjust your display, go into the settings, and then tap on display. First and foremost, if you want to change the refresh rate of your display, tap on motion smoothness. Out of the box, standard might be enabled, which caps out at 60 hertz. If you want the max of 120 hertz, select high, it's gonna give you smoother motion. If you want to save on battery life and you know mine 60 hertz, select standard. The next thing you can do is adjust the color of your display. So going under screen mode allows you to adjust from vivid to natural. If you like saturated, contrasty, and punchy colors, vivid is the way to go. If you want a more natural look for photo editing, video editing, or you just prefer muted colors, select natural. I personally like natural a little bit more than vivid. Next up, you can adjust the navigation bar. So as you can see, I have swipe navigation, but if you want button navigation, you can select buttons. Out of the box, buttons is enabled. And if you wanna to switch to swipe gestures, just tap on swipe gestures. Going back, the last thing that I suggest looking at or consider doing is increasing the touch sensitivity. So if you install a screen protector and you notice that your touch input is being delayed or has been affected, 
Just go into display settings and enable increased touch sensitivity, and that should fix any issues that you're having. Speaking of customization, if you wanna change the look of like your icons, the wallpaper, or just the overall feel of your Tab S8 Ultra, you can do so. Unfortunately, the Galaxy Theme Store isn't on board, so you don't have all of the extensive customization that you get like on Samsung phones, but you can still apply your own custom wallpaper and then use the color palette option to apply to the icons. So just touch and hold on your home screen, go under wallpaper and style, and then you see color palette right here, tap on that. And then from here, you can select different palettes that match the wallpaper that you're using. And it will change your icons as well as many of your system settings, like the dialer, your quick toggles, and other system icons. So if you're a fan of this wallpaper or Dragon Ball Z wallpapers, then you need to check out HDQ walls. They do have an app, which is right here. So you could just do a search in the Play Store. But unfortunately, the app really isn't suited that great for tablets. So I just went to their website, which is hdqwalls.com. They have a huge selection of wallpapers to choose from. Like these are all the Dragon Ball Z ones and they look fantastic and they have tons of other anime wallpapers. So just find the wallpaper that you want, scroll down, pick the resolution that you need and then download it and then just apply it to your uh, home screen like I did here. So I'll link both the app and the website down in the description so you can check them out. But I'm telling you now, it's like the best place to find really cool wallpapers in my personal opinion. So if I swipe right, I have my Google Now feed right here so I can view all my news and updates and so on and so forth. But if I touch and hold on the home screen, swipe over, I can select Samsung free and then going back and then swiping right, I now have access to Samsung free, which gives me free live TV so I can see all my channels over here on the right and I can select something to watch at any time. I also have the option to listen to audiobooks. I can read a book or a paper or just news articles. And then last but not least on the far right, I have different games that I can play that do not require a download. So I don't need to download any of these. I can just play them as long as I'm connected to Wi-Fi or a cellular connection. So that's really cool. And I think for a tablet at this size, Samsung Free makes a ton of sense. So definitely check it out. One thing I love about Samsung tablets and the Tab S8 Ultra in specific is the fact that they include an S Pen. And there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with this pen. Let's go over a few tips and tricks that I have for you when it comes to getting the most out of this little tool right here. The very first S Pen tip or trick that I have for you is to make sure to never lose your S Pen by enabling this setting. So go into your Air Command menu, tap on the cog wheel in the bottom left corner, scroll down, and make sure warn if S Pen is left behind. So now whenever you lock the screen of the Tab S8 Ultra and you have your S Pen like on the ground or on a desk, and you walk away, you'll get a warning on the tablet. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock the screen and then walk away. And you'll see the warning pop up right there. Just letting me know, hey, don't forget your S Pen. Another thing you can do is if you get this message, just tap got it. And then it will ask you to allow permissions and settings, tap on settings, then go under permissions and allow physical activity. And this will give you a more accurate tracking when it comes to the S Pen. Another tip or trick that I have for you is just to use the S Pen. This thing has improved significantly over the previous generation, and now the latency has been decreased to 2.8 milliseconds. I mean, check this out. Look at how responsive that is. Even for like the finest little details. That is incredible. It's like an immediate response. It's like writing on paper. Of course, the S Pen works great inside of Samsung Notes. However, I want to show you a few of my favorite features, the first of which is handwriting the text because it works like a boss. So I'm going to go ahead and write out a quick note. I'm going to go ahead and convert that by tapping on the little T with like a squiggly line and convert. Boom. Please like and subscribe. It works really good even for cursive handwriting. Another one of my favorite features when it comes to Samsung Notes on the Tab S8 Ultra is the ability to import PDFs. So on the main notes page here, if I tap in the top right corner where it says PDF, I can import a PDF, go under my downloads, and I'll import this uh, little sample contract, tap done. And now I can go through and fill in all the necessary information as well as sign it down here on the bottom. So if I go all the way down to the bottom where I need to sign, I can quickly do my signature, and then I can save this PDF 
and then email it back to the person that I need to email it to. Another really useful feature that I just discovered on the Tab S8 Ultra um, is that it works really well with other Galaxy devices like the S22 Ultra inside of Samsung Notes. So right up here in the top right, there's like a little phone with an arrow pointing to the right. If I just tap on that, watch what happens. It moves the toolbar over to my S22 Ultra. Now I can select different writing utensils. So we'll use this pen right here. Go ahead and write, it's in blue. So we'll select the marker here. We'll change the marker to purple and then I'll write. We'll do the pencil. We'll change the pencil to like a aqua color or teal. I mean, how cool is that? Now watch this. If I exit out of the little mode that I was in, then go back to my main page, you can see my note is saved right here. Now, if I go into Samsung Notes on my S22 Ultra, you can see the note is right there. So I can make a grocery list while I'm home on my Tab S8 Ultra. And then when I get to the grocery store, I can pull up that list on my S22 Ultra and start marking things off. Super useful. The next S Pen tip or trick that I have for you is for all my OneNote users out there. So if you're not a big fan of Samsung Notes, even though it does sync with OneNote, and you're just a OneNote user, you can go into OneNote and then open up a note, go under Draw, and you'll notice that the S Pen works natively inside of OneNote. The next S Pen tip or trick that I have for you when it comes to the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra is to go under Air Command, then tap on Add, You'll see a few options here, including Bixby Vision, Magnify, Glance, Coloring, and Write on Calendar that are not enabled by default. One of my favorites is Coloring. So I'm gonna drag it and then bring it over to the Air Command menu. Now when I go back home, go under Air Command, you can see I have the Coloring option right here. Now Coloring is technically part of Pinup, but if you just want to access the Coloring Book area of Pinup, you can add Coloring and then launch it. And this is a legit coloring book. You have tons of pictures to choose from and it's perfect for a tablet this big. Another new feature on the Tab S8 Ultra and the S Pen are air actions. So I can control the tablet using my S Pen. So if I hold down the S Pen button and then do different things, you can see I can go back, I can pull up my background app switcher, I can take a screenshot. So if I do like a V, you can see I'm in the screenshot mode. I can go back again. I can do all these different things just by these little gestures using the S Pen. Speaking of air actions, certain apps correspond to specific air actions. And to figure out a list or to access a list of all available air actions, you can go into the Air Command menu, tap on the cogwheel in the bottom left, and then tap on Air Actions. And it will give you a breakdown of all the air actions that you can do and how you can do them. Additionally, it will show you all the apps that are supported. And then you have even third party apps down here that are supported that are turned off by default. So I can enable Chrome, for instance, by toggling it on. And then it shows me what I can do in terms of air actions inside of Chrome. Same thing with OneNote, I can toggle it on. And here's the list of things that I can do. And last but not least, we have Note Shelf, which once again, I can toggle on. And here's the list of actions that I can do. If you ever want to find out what actions you can do in a specific app, just find the app up here. So we'll go into gallery, tap on it, and these are the actions that you can do. Dex isn't anything new, but it's really powerful, especially on Samsung tablets. Let me show you how to set it up and a few tips on how to get the most out of it. When it comes to Dex, it's super powerful and it turns your Tab S8 Ultra into pretty much a Chromebook. So you can access this a few different ways. You can hold down function and then hit Dex on the keyboard, or you can go into your quick toggles and then tap on Dex and it will automatically put your Tab S8 Ultra into Dex mode. And you can see, it basically looks like a little computer. You have a desktop here with your apps and folders. Then you have a little dock down here with your favorite apps. You can access your app drawer by tapping on the little dots in the top or the bottom left. So I can pull up my app drawer here. And what's great is if I launch, say my gallery app, I have a window, I can resize this window. So we'll go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. And then if I launch like the Google Play Store, I have another window. And then we'll launch the Google app. Accidentally close the gallery, we'll launch that. So I have three different apps pulled up now and three different windows. So we'll launch one more, we'll launch the OneNote app. Bam, that's four different apps. 
So that's incredible for multitasking. And this is where that extra RAM is gonna come in. There's actually a third way to quickly launch DeX, and that's just by connecting or docking the keyboard. To enable this, go into your settings once you're inside of DeX mode. You can do this by holding down function and then tapping on the cog wheel or where it says finder. Once you're inside of the settings, tap on Samsung DeX. And then right here where it says auto start when book cover keyboard is connected, toggle that on. Now, if I exit out of DeX, like so, and then disconnect the keyboard, like so, and then reconnect it, go ahead and unlock the Tab S8 Ultra, it will automatically launch in DeX. Technically speaking, you can launch DeX and use it without a keyboard, but you kind of take away some of the functionality that comes with DeX. So I definitely recommend using a keyboard and mouse with DeX. If you're not picking up this trackpad uh, keyboard combo, you can use a Bluetooth wireless uh, mouse or keyboard. But what's really cool is you can go into your quick toggles here and see where it says DeX. Instead of tapping on the actual icon of DeX, tap on the words and then tap on see available wireless devices. If you're using a Samsung TV like I am, I can find my TV, tap start now, and it's actually going to cast DeX on my TV. So there is my desktop right there. I have my apps over here. I can pull up my app drawer and I can launch something like Funimation and I can watch my favorite anime show. Or I can actually get some work done by launching something like Samsung Notes. So I'll go back into my app drawer and I'll launch Samsung Notes once I find it. Actually, we'll just launch OneNote. So I'll go ahead and launch OneNote and now I can get some work done. Type on the keyboard and you can see the latency is like non-existent. It works really, really good. Cameras on tablets just aren't my thing. I mean, walking around with something this big taking pictures, you just kind of look a little funky. But Samsung did add some really useful features this year to the cameras on the S8 Ultra, so let's go over those. So if we dive into the camera app, the very first thing I want to show you is auto framing. So I'm in video mode. I have the front facing camera pulled up and the bottom left hand corner, there's like a little circle. It's like a box with a solid circle inside. Just tap on that. And now auto framing is engaged. I'm gonna go ahead and record this. And now when I walk around, it should track me. So it just zoomed in. It's actually using the ultra wide camera on the front because there's two cameras. There's an ultra wide and then a standard. And then it's just cropping in on the sensor, but it does a pretty good job at tracking me, which is great for doing, you know, little social media videos, or if you're doing like a conference call, things like that. So auto framing is awesome, but to take this one step further, because of air actions being on board the Tab S8 Ultra and the S Pen, you can control the camera with the S Pen. So I can flip to the front camera, I can flip back to the back camera, I can cycle through the different modes. So I'm in video, I can cycle to photo, I can zoom. So this has an eight times, or it goes up to eight times zoom digitally. You can see I'm all the way up to eight times and then I can come back out. I can go all the way to the ultra wide on the back and then I can go back in. Again, I can switch back to the front, just like so. I can switch back to the rear. I can hit the S pin button to take a photo. So it's just really nice to be able to control everything with a pen. And speaking of how capable these cameras are, you actually have a pro mode. So if I go under more, you have pro photo and pro video mode for a tablet. That's kind of crazy. And what's really neat is I went into the settings and this tablet has video stabilization. How weird and how cool is that? You can also shoot 4K video up to 30 frames per second in pro video mode. And then just to give you a quick sample of portrait video, I can pull this up, I can switch it over, and there we go. It's not just picking up me, it's actually picking up Dennis as well. So I'll go ahead and record this. And you can see it's picking us both up and it's actually isolating us from the background really well. So let me know what you think of the cameras on the Tab S8 Ultra. Like I said before, the Tab S8 Ultra has a beautiful 14.6 inch AMOLED display. And this thing is incredible to look at, 
But one way you can get more use out of this display is by pairing it with a Windows PC or a Samsung Windows PC, like a Galaxy Book Odyssey, and use this as an external display. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So if you wanna use the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra as a secondary display for your laptop, like a Galaxy Book Odyssey, like I have here, it's really simple. You're gonna go into your quick toggles, swipe over, and then you'll see a second screen. Just tap on that. Now on your Windows PC, hold the Windows key and then tap K. It'll pull up your available wireless displays, locate the Tab S8 Ultra, select it, it's connecting, and boom. So now the Tab S8 Ultra is a secondary monitor for my Windows computer. So you can see my mouse over here. In fact, let me go ahead and open up Chrome and I will drag Chrome over to the Tab S8 Ultra and there you go. You might've noticed that the orientation is a little bit off. So if I try to take the mouse all the way over to the left, it doesn't go over to the Tab S8 Ultra. I have to go to the right to do it, but I can fix this just by simply right clicking on my desktop, going under display settings, and then taking the secondary display and dragging it to the left of the primary display and then hit apply. So now if I close my settings and then bring the mouse all the way over to the left, it brings the mouse over to the Tab S8 Ultra. So that's a quick fix for any orientation problems. The last tip or trick that I have for you is something that I just discovered and it's really awesome. You can actually turn the Tab S8 Ultra into a Google Home. So first and foremost, you need to plug in your Tab S8 Ultra. So I have the Samsung Trio 65 watt charger right here, and then a really small USB-C cable just to uh, you know, keep it nice and tidy. Then you're gonna go into your quick toggles, Go all the way over to the last page and locate daily board. If that's not available, tap on the plus symbol, find it up here and then drag it down below. But once you have that set up, make sure it's toggled on. Then you'll get a notification right here to tap to start daily board. Just tap on it and boom. Now you pretty much have a Google Home. So you have a clock right here for your, uh, your, your, your main page. You can also access your calendar by tapping on the little calendar in the bottom right corner. You can go back to the clock. You can check out what's playing on YouTube Music or Spotify. You can adjust your brightness right here. You can do adaptive brightness or you can manually control it. If I swipe, I can do a quick note right here. So if I pull up the pen, I can select a color. I can select how thick the writing is gonna be, eraser, and I can make a quick note, hit cancel. If I swipe over again, I have my smart things or uh, smart things, smart home stuff right here, which I don't have set up. If I swipe over again, I have a different wallpaper. So this is more like your living wallpapers from Google, has the time, and of course the weather. And if I tap on the weather, it pulls it up. If I go back and swipe, it brings me back to the main clock here. So what's really cool is if you have the Google Assistant set up to recognize your voice, you could treat this thing just like a Google Home. So check this out. Hey Google, tell me a joke. What's a pig's favorite karate move? I don't know. A pork chop. Hey Google, what's the weather gonna be like today? Today in Horizon West, Florida, there'll be- So there you go. That's how you can set up your Tab S8 Ultra to be a Google Home. And whenever you want to undock it and use it as a tablet, just unplug it and bring it with you. It's pretty cool. Okay, so there you have it. That was several tips and tricks to help you get started with the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. This thing is a beast. If you wanna see more content on it, let me know in the comment section. I can always break down and do more tips and tricks in different categories. So if you wanna see a dedicated S Pen video or a dedicated Dex video, let me know down below. I'll definitely add those to the mix and we can do that. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you're interested in buying one of these, I'll drop a link in the description as well as in the pinned comment. And I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.